The Dauntless for defense had 30 caliber machine guns in the back. They started with one single 30 caliber, then, 30, then twin 30s were added later on for additional defense. The Radium Gunner would sit in the back and aim the, aim the guns, being careful not to hit the tail. The pilot had a pair of 50 calibers over the nose where he could use for defense for himself. The Donald was never meant to be a dogfighter, but on a couple of occasions, the pilots were able to shoot it out with enemy zeros and defend themselves, actually bringing down a couple of zeros. One of them became a, a, an ace later on in the war as a fighter pilot. You're looking at the centerline bomb cradle, which would release the bomb. The bomb would swing down and miss the propeller and not have any problems releasing the bomb. The pilot would release the bomb at about 2,000, sometimes 1,000 feet, which was a little bit closer than what he wanted to get. But the best way to get that bomb on target was to follow it, uh, as, get down as close as you could to the target. Then he would pull up and pull out and get away from the target. These are perforated dive flaps. The idea behind these was to open these up in the, in the dive and they would help control the, the descent of the aircraft, allowing the pilot to get on target better. He would open those flaps inside the cockpit, they would open up and that would help control the dive.